The original Citroen DS was always a fantastic car in need of a good engine. Backed by the might of PSA and latterly Stellantis, that's less of a problem for today's DS models. A charismatic six-pot would be a bit much to expect, but in the electric and hybrid era, power is at least relatively easy to come by. DS is positioned as a premium brand, supposedly a French alternative to Mercedes, Jaguar and Lexus. Regardless of whether it actually has that cachet, a premium brand deserves a powerful range topper, so DS has rummaged in the Stellantis corporate parts bin and found the 355 brake horsepower plug-in hybrid drivetrain from the Peugeot 508 PSE. That means a 1.6-litre four-cylinder petrol engine with 197 brake horsepower aided by one 109 brake horsepower electric motor driving the front wheels through the 8-speed automatic gearbox and a second 111 brake horsepower motor on the rear axle. That shouldn't be an issue for the DS9, which is designed to provide effortlessly rather than engagement. The real question is whether the premium over the already expensive standard car is justified. The entry-level e 10 225 costs £46,100, but the top-of-the-line 360 costs £54,100. This rises to £57,200 in Rivola Plus trim, which is dangerously close to the six-cylinder BMW 545e. But it's not just about the engine. The way the 9 360 is made contributes to its high price. All of the 9s, including the 360 are made in China. It does, however, receive a more personalized treatment than its lesser siblings. The 360 starts out as a 225 with only front-wheel drive. It is then transported to DS Performance's Poissy workshop, where it is converted into a 360 in the same facility that prepares DS's Formula E races. It gets an electrified rear axle, 380mm front brakes, lowered and stiffened suspension, and longer wishbones for a wider track there, 24mm at the front and 12mm at the back. Material richness, build quality, original design, neat touches and solid ergonomics all impress in the interior, whether in Alcantara Heavy Performance Line Plus or leather-lined Rivola Plus trim. Furthermore, it is exceptionally quiet and the ride is fluid during a cruise, making it an effortless long-distance cruiser. The standard e 225 fits the bill as well, but the 360 now has the muscle to compete at higher speeds. With the wider front track and rear drive, it loses some of the understeer bias steady-state limit handling of the standard car. The rear motor will pitch in in sport mode, and the adaptive suspension will tightly control the body. The slow and light steering ensures that this isn't an interactive car, but the chassis won't hold you back on a twisty road. The powertrain, ironically, will be the deciding factor for the fastest version. Despite their often impressive peak power outputs, plug-in hybrids are usually at their best when cruising at a slow pace. When full power is required, you're stuck with a small engine that has to work hard. The 9's 1.6 doesn't sound overly strained, but it's also no songbird. What's more frustrating is that, despite its smooth and alert behavior in light use, the gearbox has its own mind. While there are paddles, there is no fully manual mode, which quickly becomes frustrating because it never returns to the gear you left it in. Allowing the gearbox to sort things out on its own isn't a viable option, either, because when you try to accelerate out of a tight corner, it takes a few moments to select a lower gear, and by the time it does, you're well clear of the corner. As a result, the progress is staccato. The 9360 is at its best when cruising down the highway or tackling a twisty road, leaning on the ample grip reserves and low down torque while avoiding triggering the kickdown. That's fine in and of itself, and despite the DS performance branding, DS describes it as a grand tourer rather than a sports car. However, it begins to fray at the edges when you try to access the 360's extra power and chassis sharpness. The development and tuning of the DS9 E10's 4X4 360's power unit 
and suspension were overseen by DS Performance, which won every Formula E championship in 2019 and 2020. The popular dynamic serenity from DS automobiles reaches new heights. Special front and rear axles with a wider track are used in the DS9 e 10 x 4 x 4 360 with 380x 32mm front and 290x 12mm rear discs. The braking system has been upgraded with four piston calipers for better power distribution under heavy application. Mechanical braking effort is only provided if needed after energy recovery, just like the championship winning Formula E single seater. The shock absorbers, springs and anti-roll bar are all one of a kind, as is the mapping of the power unit. DS Active Scan Suspension is standard on all models to take advantage of 21st century DS suspension, which combines the quiet comfort of a large statuesque saloon with the dynamism of a grand touring coupe. Thanks for watching and give your comments below.